Good morning, fourth graders. I still really miss you, and um, so I'm going to try to do at least one story a day to kind of keep in touch. So I thought today I would do the song and dance man. And this book is a Caldecott Award winner, if you look at this little circle here. So that means that it won an award for its illustrations. So pay really close attention to its illustrations as I read the story. I think you'll see that they're pretty amazing. Grandpa was a song and dance man who once danced on the vaudeville stage. Okay, the vaudeville stage would be kind of like an old fashioned theater. When we visit, he tells us about a time before people watched TV. Back in the good old days, the song and dance days. Okay, so here they are, kind of visiting them. And then here is where he lives. Supper in an hour, Grandma calls from the kitchen. I wonder if my tap shoes still fit, Grandpa says with a smile. Then he turns on the light to the attic and we follow him up the steep wooden steps. Okay, so it looks like they're going to search the attic for his shoes. Faded posters of Grandpa when he was young hang on the walls. He moves some cardboard boxes and a rack of Grandma's winter dresses out of the way, and we see a brown, dusty, leather-trimmed trunk in the corner. Okay, so here's Grandma's dresses. And then if you look over here, you can kind of see the trunk in the corner. As soon as Grandpa opens it, the smell of cedar chips and old things saved fills the attic. Inside are his shoes with the silver half-moon taps on the toes and heels, hats and top hats, and vests with stripes and matching bow ties. We try on all the hats and pretend we're dancing on a vaudeville stage where the bright lights twinkle and the piano player nods his head along with the music. Okay, so here he is pulling out all of his old costumes. And then here are the kids trying them on and acting as if they're on the vaudeville stage. After wiping his shoes with a cloth he calls a chamois, Grandpa puts them on. He tucks small white pads inside the shoes so his corns won't rub and he turns on the lamps and aims each one down like a spotlight. He sprinkles a little powder on the floor, and it's showtime. We sit on one of Grandpa's wooden stools, clap our hands, and call out, Yay, Grandpa! Okay, so here he is getting ready to kind of do a show for them. And here they are sitting and waiting for the show. The song and dance man begins to dance the old soft shoe. His feet move slowly at first, while his tap shoes make soft, slippery sounds like rain on a tin roof. We forget that it's grandpa dancing, and all we can hear is the silvery tap of two feet, and all we can see is a song and dance man gliding across a vaudeville stage. So here he is dancing. He says, watch this, and does a new step that sounds like a woodpecker tapping on a tree. Suddenly his shoes move faster, and he begins to sing. His voice is as round and strong as a canyon echo, and his cheeks get rosy as he sings, Yankee Doodle Boy, a song he knows from the good old days. There are too many dance steps and too many words in the song for us to remember, but the show is better than any show on TV. The song and dance man stops and leans forward with a wink. What's that in your ear, he asks, and he pulls a silver dollar out of somebody's hair. Okay, so here he is doing his show. And then here is a few more pictures. This book has some really nice similes. 
he rolls his bowler hat down his arm, catches it in his hand, and flips it back onto his head. Know how to make an elephant float, he asks. One scoop of ice cream, two squirts of soda, and three scoops of elephant. We've heard that joke before, but the song and dance man slaps his knee and laughs until his eyes water. So he kind of does a little bit of everything. So he's singing and dancing, and now he's kind of doing some comedy. He tries to wipe them with a red hanky from his vest pocket, but the hanky gets longer and longer as he pulls it out. He looks so surprised that we start laughing too, and it feels like the whole attic is shaking. Sometimes we laugh so hard, the hiccups start, and Grandpa stops to bring us a glass of water from the bathroom. Drink slow and hold your breath, he says, or I'll have to scare you. So here he is. So now he's pulling, now he's kind of doing magic. And there they are watching him pull the handkerchief up. Once our hiccups are gone, he gets a gold-tipped cane and a black silk top hat from the trunk. He lowers his eyes and tips the hat, and he's standing very still. All the lights are turned low, except one that shines on his polished tap shoes. It's the grand finale, so the song and dance man takes a deep breath he lifts the cane and holds it in both hands. Slowly, he begins to tap. His shoes move faster and faster, and the sounds coming from them are too many to make with only two feet. So it does sound like he's a pretty amazing tap dancer. Sounds like more than one person is tapping. Here he is tapping near the end. He spins and jumps into the air, touching the stage again. He kneels with his arms spread out, and the silk top hat and gold tip cane lie side by side at his feet. His shoes are still, and the show is over. So here's kind of his grand finale. And then here he is kind of like coming to a bow. We stand up together and clap our hands, shouting, hooray, and more. But Grandpa only smiles and shakes his head, all out of breath. He takes off his tap shoes, wraps them gently in the cloth, and puts them back in the leather-trimmed trunk. He carefully folds his vest and lays the top hat and cane on it, and we follow him to the stairway. Okay, so here they are applauding, asking for more, and here he is kind of, I'm done. He's out of breath. Grandpa holds onto the rail as we go down the steps. At the bottom, he hugs us, and we tell him we wish we could have seen him dance in the good old days, the song and dance days. He smiles and whispers that he wouldn't trade a million good old days for the days he spends with us. But as he turns off the attic light, Grandpa glances back up the stairs, and we wonder how much he really misses that time on the vaudeville stage when he was a song and dance man. So here he is hugging his grandchildren, saying, you know what, I wouldn't give up my time with you for anything. And here he is kind of still thinking like it was such a fun time. So that's the end of the story. And I thought this would be a good time to tell you that um, since this story was about a grandpa, I think it would be really nice for you to FaceTime your grandparents today or other family members like your aunts or uncles or cousins and kind of touch base with your families and um, give them some compliments about some things that they can do in a wonderful way. Um, so I will see you next time and have a great day. Miss you.